and of the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of 
flowing and riding on a donkey, a cock, the cow, the foal of a donkey. And he shall destroy the chariots out of Ephraim, and the horse out of Jerusalem, and the bow of war shall be utterly destroyed, and there shall be abundance of peace out of the nations. And he shall rule over the waters from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. And you, by the blood of your covenant, have sent forth your prisoners out of the pit that has no water. You shall sit in strongholds, you prisoners of the assembly. And for one day of your sojourning, I will recompense you double. For I have bent you for myself like a bow, O Judah. I have filled it with Ephraim. And I will raise up your children, O Zion, against the children of the Greeks, and handle you like the sword of a warrior. And the Lord shall be over them, and his arrow shall go forth like lightning. <coughs> and the Lord the God Almighty shall sound with a trumpet and go forth in the noise of his threatening. The Lord Almighty shall defend them. Let us all say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, <coughs> O Lord Almighty God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy.
Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Remembering our own holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theodore, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. Oh, 
Christians unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without the commandment thou gavest birth to God the Word, truly a Logos we magnify thee. Glory to thee, O Christ God, our hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. Make Christ our true God, who for our salvation deigned to sit on the cold of the donkey, through the intercession of his most pure mother, of the only glorious and all honorable apostles, by the power of the honorable and life creating cross, Saint Basil, so the confessor, Bishop of Parium, Hieromates Zeno, Bishop of Verona, Venerable Isaac, the Syrian, Abbot of Spoleto, Monastic Martyrs, Menas, David and John of Palestine, Venerable. Antisa of Constantinople, Venerable Athanasius, Abbot of Agina, Venerable Cassius the Younger of Causo Livia, of the Holy Righteous Ancestors of Gajo Kivinana, and of all the saints, may he have mercy on us and save us. For his good and love of mankind. Arise, and unto my help, O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be put to shame and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to shame that desire evils from me. Let them be turned back at once and brought to shame that say unto me, Well done, well done. Let all rejoice and be glad in thee that seek after thee, O God. Let them that love thy salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. I am poor and needy, O God. Do thou help me. Thou art my helper and my deliverer. O Lord, do not tarry. O Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear unto my supplication and thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight no man alive shall be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul. He has humbled my life down to the ground. He has made me to sit down in darkness like those who long live. My spirit then is overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is troubled. I remembered the days of old. I meditated on all thy works. I mused on one on that which thy hands have fashioned. 
I stretch it forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsty after thee like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit has failed. Turn not thy face from me, lest I be like them that go down into the pit. Make me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I hope. Show me the way, O Lord, when I should walk, for unto thee have I never done my soul. Rescue me from my iniquity, O Lord, for unto thee have I fled. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God, thy good spirit shall lead me in the land, land of righteousness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, thou shalt give me life. In thy righteousness, thou shalt bring my soul out of tribulation. And in thy mercy, thou shalt cut off my enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul. For I am thy servant. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee. We glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God, the Father of Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, Thou who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Thou who takest away the sins of the world, accept our prayer. Thou who sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy on us, for thou only art holy, and only art Lord, O Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father, Amen. Every night will I bless thee and praise thy name, for every day and forever and ever. Lord, thou hast been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, be merciful to me and heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have fled unto thee. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is the fountain of life, in thy light shall we see light. O continue thy mercy unto those who know thee. Vow to save, O Lord, that we may be kept this night without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praise thee, glorify us thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, make me to understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endures forever, despise not the works of thy hands. Unto thee is due praise, unto thee is due a song, unto thee is due glory, to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in my God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and in the invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not made of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and he came and he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and descended into heaven sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdoms are not at no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Having passed through the waters of dry land and having escaped, 
the malice of the Egyptian the Israelites cry aloud, unto our God and Redeemer, let us now sing. Distressed by many temptations, I flee to thee, seeking salvation, O mother of the word and virgin, from what heals and affliction deliver me. Outbursts of passion trouble me and fill my soul with great despondency. Call me to a maiden by the peace of thy Son and God. O blameless one, I implore thee who gave this birth to the Savior and God. O virgin, to deliver me from perils, for flee now to thee for refuge. I lift up both my soul and my reasoning. Aided them I in body and soul, do thou not say in divine visitation. And thy care, O thou will own up the mother of God. For thou art good in the mother of the good. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Of the vault of heaven art thou, O Lord, maker and builder of the church. Do thou establish in me love of thee, O summit of desire, O support of the faithful, O lover of mankind. O holy Theotokos, save us. I have chosen thee to be the protection and intercession of my life, O Virgin, Mother of God. Pilot me to thy haven, O author. A blessing, O support of the faithful, O thou only all lauded one. Most holy Theotokos, save us. I pray thee, O Virgin, to dispel the tumult of my soul and the storm of my grief, for thou, O Bride of God, hast given birth to Christ, the Prince of Peace, O only Immaculate One. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Since thou broughtest forth him who is the benefactor and cause of good from the wealth of thy loving kindness, do thou pour forth on all, for thou canst do all things. Since thou didst bear Christ, the one who is mighty in power, for blessed art of God art thou. Most holy Theotokos, save us. I am tortured by grievous sicknesses and morbid passions. O Virgin, do thou help me, for I know thee to be an inexhaustible treasury of unfailing healing of all blameless ones. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. I have heard, O Lord, the mystery of thy dispensation. Most holy Theotokos, save us. And thou, of thy passions and the storm of thy sins, do thou bestow. Thou who gave us birth to the Lord and Pilot, O thou body of God. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Thou didst so out of the abyss of thy compassion. On me thou suffered pain, for thou didst give birth to the Count Hydrogen and the Savior of all the Trinity. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Most holy Theotokos, save us. When thou hast deemed me worthy of thy visitation, 
and grant me help by thine intercession. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. I will put out my prayer unto the Lord, and to him will I proclaim my grief, for with evils my soul is filled, and my life unto Hades has drawn near. And like Jonah, I will pray from corruption. Raise me up, O God. My nature held by corruption and death. Has he saved from out of death and corruption? For unto death he himself has submitted. Wherefore, O Virgin, do thou intercede with him? Who is thy Lord and Son? to deliver me from my enemies' wickedness. Most holy Theotokos, save us. I know thee as the protection of my life and most safe fortification. O Virgin, disperse the hordes of temptations and drive away demonic vexations. Unceasingly I pray to thee from corruption of passions Deliver me. We have acquired thee as a wall of refuge and the perfect salvation of our souls and a relief in affliction, O meeting. And we ever rejoice in thy light. O sovereign lady, do thou also now save us from passions and dangers. The driven my life spine with sickness now, and there is no healing for my flesh, but to thee, O good one, who gives first to God, and the Savior of the world, and the healer of infirmities, I pray, from corruption of illness, raise me up. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages, Amen. Having gone down to Babylon from Judea, the children of old, by their faith in the surety, trod down the flame of the furnace while chanting, O God of our fathers, blessed is it our Thou, that we will to accomplish our salvation, O Savior. Thou didst dwell in the womb of the Virgin, and just show her to the world as the Mediatress. O God of our fathers, blessed it art thou. Let us then, sir, of mercy, who <coughs> thou is there, O pure mother, do thou implore to deliver from transgressions and defilements of the soul those who with faith cry out. O God of our fathers, blessed it art thou. Our treasury of salvation and the fount of incorruption is she who gave thee birth. A tower of safety and a door of repentance has thou proved her to them that shout. O God of our fathers, blessed it art thou. O Theotokos, For weakness of body and sickness of soul, Theotokos. Do thou not save heeding to those who with love draw near to thy protection of virgin, who for us gave us birth to Christ the Savior. Glory, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The King of Heaven, and whom we most have angels, Him, praise Ye, supremely exalted unto the ages. Sustain not those who need Thy help, O Virgin, and whom Him and supremely exalt Thee unto the ages. Thou healest the infirmity of my soul and the pain of my body, O Virgin, that I may glorify Thee, O Pure One, unto the ages. Thou who pourest forth the wealth of healing on those who have faith in Thee, O Virgin, and who supremely exalt Thy ineffable offspring. Thou drivest away the assaults of temptations and the attacks of the passions, O Virgin, wherefore do we hymn thee unto all ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Do you to hear the Theotokos, who, after they have conceived, O Virgin, did the body and his 
and overlook my countless transgressions. Turn me to repentance and reveal me to be an experienced accomplisher of his commandments. And as thou art merciful, compassionate, and benevolent, stand by me always in this present life as my fervent intercessor and helper, driving away the assaults of enemies and guiding me to salvation. And at the time of my departure from this life, care for my wretched soul and drive far away from it the dark forms of evil demons, and in that the fearful day of judgment deliver me from eternal torments and present me as an heir of the ineffable glory of thy Son and our God. May I receive this, O my Sovereign Lady, most holy Theotokos, through thy mediation and help, through the grace and love for mankind of thine only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, to whom is due all glory, honor, and worship, together with his Father who is without beginning, and the most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. And grant unto us, O Master, when we depart to sleep, repose of the body and soul, and keep us from the dark sleep of sin, and from every dark and passionate pleasure of the night, subdue the impulses of the passions, and quench the flaming arrows of the evil one, which are deceitfully loosed against us, still the rebellions of our flesh, and put to sleep all the, our earthly and material reasonings. And grant us, O God, a watchful mind, chaste thoughts, a sober heart, and a light sleep, free of every fantasy of Satan. Raise us up at the time of prayer confirmed in thy commandments, and as a memory of thy judgment, held firmly within us, and grant that we may glorify thee all through the night, that we may sing and bless and glorify thy most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the, <coughs> and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most glorious, ever virgin Mother of Christ, our God, bear our prayer to thy Son, and our God, that through the veil he may save our souls. My hope is in the Father, my refuge is the Son, my protection is the Holy Spirit, O Holy Trinity, the Lord is with thee. Glory to thee, O Christ, God, our hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of the ages of men. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Father bless. May Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most dear mother, of our venerable and God bearing fathers and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the lover of humankind. Amen. Bless holy Father and brothers and sisters, and forgive me, a sinner, wherein I have sinned this day. Indeed, word, thought, and all my senses. May the Lord God forgive you, Lord God, and forgive our brother and our Lord God. Through his grace, may God forgive and have mercy on us all. Amen. Let us pray for our Metropolitan Tico, and our Archbishop Alexander, and for all our brother clergymen in Christ. For the government of our country, our president, all civil authorities, and the armed forces. For those who hate us and those who love us. For those who are kind to us and serve us. For those who have asked us to pray for them unworthy that we be. For those who are enduring persecution and for the deliverance of captives. For our departed fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters. For travelers by land, sea, and air. For those who lie in sickness, let us pray for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for every Orthodox Christian soul. Let us bless pious leaders of nations, Orthodox hierarchs and the founders of this holy monastic habitation, our ancestors and our parents. All our fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters and friends, depart of this life before us, who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord Let us also say for ourselves, 
Concerning all these things, you are bound henceforth to take care. Since according to the Christian mystery of repentance, you are to be baptized with the second baptism. And God helping you, you must make a good beginning and a new fresh start. And above all, you must not take these things lightly or return to the same things, lest you become a cause of scorn to men. For this is not becoming to Christians, but live honorably, righteously, devoutly. And may God help you by his grace. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, God of the salvation of your servants, who are merciful, compassion, long suffering, and repent concerning our evil deeds, who do not desire the death of sinners, but they turn from their way and live, do yourself now be merciful to your servants, and grant them an image of repentance, pardon their remission of sins, forgiving them every transgression, whether committed voluntarily or involuntarily, reconciling and uniting them to the Holy Church, through Jesus Christ our Lord with whom is due to you power and majesty now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. May our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, by the grace and compassion of his love for humankind, forgive you, my children, all your transgressions, and I, as an unworthy priest, to his power given to me, forgive you and resolve you from all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Kuhi Otsa Isina Isitari Dukra.